Now that he took a long break from Yellowstone, Taylor Sheridan is spending his time being a guest on podcasts. The most recent attendance of his on the Joe Rogan's famous podcast made headlines not only because of his controversial thoughts on masculinity and liberal worldview, but also because of his remarks on Yellowstone. So let's see what did Sheridan said that was so sensational that made people go mad. In a recent episode of the Joe Rogan Experience, series creator and writer Sheridan shared insights into the reception of his work, particularly addressing the contrast between the show's immense audience success and its less favorable critical reception. If you weren't aware of the situation, here's a heads up. Despite being the most watched series in the US year after year, Yellowstone is known for its exclusion from the award ceremonies. The show's season 5 opening had more than 12 million audience, which is a record number of viewers that is beyond any show can ever wish for. However, when it comes to the awards that the show had, it had one Golden Globe, which was given to Kevin Costner as the best drama actor. And it had one Emmy nomination and it did not even win that award. Apart from that, there are a few MTV Awards or Critics' Choice Awards here and there, but nothing substantial. Clearly, there is a huge discrepancy between the show's popularity and the appreciation it gets from the critics. Well, apparently, this was an intentional choice by Sheridan. Yes, you heard it right. Apparently, Sheridan designed the show in a way that it shouldn't be liked by critics anyways. According to Sheridan, the show is intentionally designed to be disliked by critics, citing its lack of a traditional plot. He sees this as an opportunity to explore various perspectives, inject humor, and delve deep into a particular way of life and world, reflecting a defined approach to storytelling. It's not surprising that critics hate it because it's designed for them to hate. It has no plot, really. In that, I have a lot of opportunities to poke fun, but also kind of point out different points of views and kind of really study a way of life and a world. There's a lot of defiance in the way I do it, he said in the podcast interview. But I don't know about you guys, but I have difficult time in taking these remarks seriously. In fact, I feel like this is Sheridan's defense mechanism against the resentment he feels towards the award shows. I agree that Yellowstone's plot is all over the place. However, I also know for the fact that it is not as unique as it think it is when it comes to a messy plot. There are a lot of other shows with a similar narrative that receive appreciation from award ceremonies. Personally, I feel like the main reason why the award ceremonies overlook Yellowstone is the fact that they do not want to align with the show's controversial political stance. But this is just my hot take. Do you think there are other substantial reasons that cause Yellowstone's dismissal? Let me know in the comments below. Sheridan also highlighted the distinct nature of the show's prequels 1883 and 1923, along with an upcoming series tentatively titled 1944, emphasizing their more plot-driven narratives. Does this mean that he expects the prequel series to be recognized by the award ceremonies? Well, if this is the case, I feel like he is bound to be disappointed as I don't see any difference in the award show's approach to these series or to Yellowstone. But what do you think? Do you think Yellowstone deserves more awards and recognition than it already has? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.